Nielsen was blowing everyone's minds. Trump is smart, who knew Norway is white, everyone was swearing. Things got so confusing that committee chairman Orrin Hatch ended up taking off glasses that he didn't even have on. Senator Hatch, I'd like to begin with, uh, I'm on religious <coughs> worker visas. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put on my glasses so I can see that again. I'd like to begin with, uh, our one religious <coughs> worker visas. Oh, man. Yo, forget Trump. That dude needs a rhino test. <laughs> because, like, usually, if people make that mistake, it would end here. I get that. But then Hatch keeps on going. <laughs> it's like he realized the glasses weren't there, but then didn't want to look silly, so he just carried on with the move. Just like, yeah, uh-huh, carry on. <sighs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm still with you. But the reason yesterday's hearing got really heated was because even though she was in the shithole meeting and heard tons of swearing and full surround sound, Secretary Nielsen kept denying that she recalled any naughty words coming from the president. Is it possible he said the word at the meeting and you didn't hear it? Anything is possible, yes, ma'am. I don't, I don't specifically remember a category, categorization of countries in Africa. I did not hear that word used, no, sir. I, apologies, I don't remember specific word. I have answered this. I've been very patient with this line of questioning. I have nothing further to say about a meeting that happened over a week ago. Yeah, you know what, she's got a point. So what if a man was racist over a week ago? Does that mean he's a racist today? That was like eight days. Come on, <laughs> people change. Look, all of this explains why the junior senator from New Jersey lost his cool. Tens of millions of Americans are hurting right now because of what they're worried about what happened in the White House. That's unacceptable to me. And I've got a president of the United States whose office I respect, who talks about the country's origins of my fellow citizens in the most despicable of manner. You don't remember. You can't remember the words of your uh, commander in chief. I find that unacceptable. Wow. My man. You could feel that Cory Booker was so passionate, it shattered Orrin Hatch's imaginary glasses. <laughs> oh, I just got these. <laughs> and Booker's tirade resonated with so many people who feel that the president expressing racist views only emboldens white supremacists who already think that this is their time. So, Corey, thank you for that. And thank you, thank you also, because you inspired the latest episode of The Daily Show's favorite soap opera. Yes, Corey, I cheated, but I told you, I don't even remember his name. You don't remember. You can't remember. I find that unacceptable. Well, you have to accept it. Nigga, I was drunk on rosé. When Dick Durbin called me, I had tears of rage when I heard about this experience in that meeting. Dick Durbin, that snitching mother I knew it. Baby, look, I know I hurt you, but I need to know that you respect this committee. Our committee. I'm grateful to be on this committee. I'm more than ever today happy I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Corey.